I'm very sad this morning. I'm very sad this morning. We're going to be doing a downtown Windsor tour. Um, this will be part of my series of Windsor. Just to give you a little bit more info about this wonderful city that I live in. And of course, it's raining. And as I'm talking, a plane is flying overhead, of course. So coming up the street here, you can see where they've been building these outdoor patios. Um, just because they are limiting the amount of people that can eat inside. And uh, so yeah, they built these. So these have been here all summer. And today obviously they're not usable because it is raining. Uh, but you know what, Fallon and I will make the best of it and we're going to have a great day and we're going to show you lots of stuff to do in downtown Windsor. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just approaching Fallon's building here. Like me, she lives downtown. There is my building right here. And uh, my place is at the very top there, so. And there, Stefan peeking her head around the corner. I think that she ordered this terrible weather for today. Good morning, Fallon. Good morning. Did you order this beautiful sunny day? Or beautiful rainy day? I did. I figured. So I can wear my Canadian tuxedo. For those of you who do not know what a Canadian tuxedo, what is it? Um, it's denim on denim on denim. Kind of like black on black on black, but so. Canadian. I was just posting this on Instagram because it's very important. Oh, perfect. Canadian <laughs> style. Okay, so let's, we're going to head for breakfast, right? Yes, we are. For brunch. Brunch, yes. Brunch. We're going to have brunch at time. Sunday. Bitches brunch on Sunday. Bitches brunch. Basic bitches. Okay. And that's what Sean and I. I see your friends are hanging out here across the street. Yeah, they're open super early. Not at Cheetah's. I'm talking about a green Yeah, Cheetah's is closed. Cheetah's <laughs> is closed. All right. So, oh, and I was out earlier today and it was just kind of wet, but it wasn't raining. It said it's just going to kind of be. Yeah, you know? it's on and off. So it's whatever. We'll make the most of it. I don't care. I mean, it's winter, right? That's the weather in winter. So. One minute it's summer, the next minute it's winter. That's right. And for those of you that don't know, Fallon lives right here. This is I her do. building. Usually she's seen wearing very little clothing through that window. So, but today she's outside with me, so we won't see that. That's how you pick up the dudes. The dudes, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna... Aw, look what we found this morning. It's a dead bird. We must have hit this window, and that's now where he lies. All right, you saw it here first in downtown Windsor. <laughs> so Fallon off to the distance is our wonderful world famous casino yes, Caesars. Casino. Out of Caesars. part of Palace, the, I guess. Yeah. Part of the Caesars brand out of Las Vegas. That's very exciting. And it has been closed for a little while, but reopening I think small. Yeah, fifty people of high rollers. So get ready. Yeah, get ready. You'll be there, Fallon. High rolling. <laughs> I will be high rolling. Crossing. We're illegally crossing, yes. But it's Sunday and it's okay. Yeah. On Sunday you can break the rules. <laughs> okay, we are now at Time Kitchen. Now it's gonna take us in through the cool. door here. Maybe the door that opens. Yeah, the door that opens would be good. Entree. Perfect. Okay. Don't forget to sanitize your hands. Yes. Make sure you sanitize that one. Very important. I almost slipped on the floor. Hmm? I almost slipped on the floor. Oh, that's right. That's Fallon, how come you uh, how come you like coming here? Well, it's close to home. Okay. First of all, yep. So um, an easy place to stop. Um, they, I love supporting like small 
uh, business. So that and the food's good. And the food's good, yeah. Coffee's and, really good. And I think it's important that we support small business right now Especially as well right now. too. Yeah. yeah, very important. So guys, if you're out and about, make sure you're supporting your local small businesses. Very important. Dang, that's a problem. <laughs> Um, potato hash, potato hash, and yeah, seasonal fruit. Seasonal fruit, yes. You're a seasonal fruit. <laughs> no, you're a seasonal fruit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Wipe that peppermint oil from <laughs> your eye. Oil my eye. I like that. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Why are you wearing peppermint oil? I like to use peppermint oil when I get a headache. Okay. Um, so I use peppermint halo from Sage. It's my favorite thing. Sean, you use it too. Are you uh, precipitating like a headache hanging out with me? Yeah, so this type of weather really bothers me. Right. So I'm like, mm, put the peppermint oil on today. Okay, perfect. What did you order this morning? So I got the feature, which is the TK breakfast sandwich, except it was made with French toast today. Mm, yeah, it looks so good, it looks good, that. looks good. Yeah. Love it, I love French toast. I see they also have uh, banana bread French toast here. Oh. So I'll have to try that we'll at some point. Yeah, we'll have to come back and try that. And then, of course, I'm just eating the classic breakfast. Because you're classic. Because I'm classic, so I'm very excited. <laughs> So I'm all ready for the rainy weather. Fallon unfortunately forgot her umbrella, but uh, yes, I have my beautiful pink umbrella and we are down here at the Detroit River. I wish it was a prettier in day. In the Detroit River. In the Detroit, no, down by the Detroit River. So I wish it was a prettier day because it's such a beautiful view, but um, we call them as we see them, right? Yeah, I don't know if you can see the pink. Or, yeah. Um, the pink is breast for cancer. breast cancer. Yeah, breast cancer awareness. So Detroit uh, does a lot of their buildings with pink lighting. Right now we can only see the uh, GM building, uh, the Renaissance Center here, and. Uh, but at nighttime, the Ally building would be lit up. Right. And the Fifth Third Bank. And it's building. beautiful. I took pictures of it the other night, I loved it. So yeah, this is our riverfront. We have a beautiful, beautiful riverfront. Um, when it's, especially when it's really sunny out, it's gorgeous. Um, there's, I think there's gotta be like 11 kilometers of walking. Oh, at least. It's great, so. And it's all set for that purpose, right? So they've yeah. taken the entire waterfront. It's either parks or um, uh, pathways, so you can bike. I don't know, you can probably see there that there's different pathways, so yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And this at one time was all uh, railway tracks. So. That was when Sean was born. Yes, when I was born. This was all railway tracks, and then they've turned it into a beautiful waterfront. Oh, when Mo was born. When Mo, Mo was, was born. Yeah, Mo is, well, she's a little older now. She's about 104 now. Yeah, she must be. So. Maybe 110 even. 110. <laughs> Could be. We've known her for a while. So, okay. Well, that's the uh, waterfront. All right. So we're gonna venture off now. We're gonna see some more of the downtown. We're gonna see some of Fallon's favorite places to hang out. Fallon, where's your favorite place downtown? Your My apartment. <laughs> your apartment, okay, your apartment. Nothing else. Um, no, I mean, I love going to the market. Uh, we have a lot of great restaurants downtown. Um, because we do the Windsor International Film Festival down here, there's some really cool like graffiti art around. Um, yeah, it's yeah. my city. But you like? But, I mean, we love to come to the river, right? So Sean and I spent a lot of time. You've seen in our videos, um, we spent a lot of time by the river this summer, um, which was actually a blessing of COVID, right? Because we hadn't done that in the past. Right. So. And. Uh... You also like the uh, restaurants down here. I love, because well, yeah. I like to eat. Yes, and there's some good restaurants Lots down of here. good restaurants. So, um, yeah, and I think people forget that, that there is some cool places that you can eat downtown. They always kind of head out to the chains because they're easily accessible, but there is some great restaurants downtown. So don't forget to come downtown to eat. Yes. And you might even run into Fallon. Yeah, and you can always yeah. message me because I will join you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'll join you, so you can always message Fallon about, and especially about where you should eat downtown. 
Okay, there you go. So this is one of my um, stops. I would say downtown typically. Um, if you are a recre recreational <laughs> cannabis user, um, Greentown opened, oh, I would say mid-pandemic, so probably April, um, or when things were allowed to reopen, put it that way, and very convenient for me considering that I just live right up there. <laughs> um, lots of variety um, and very good service, and yeah. I would say they always have somebody outside, a revolving door here. Right. Um, lots of business, all walks of life. Um, and I actually find it very entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, so I do my ordering online and then they text me when my order is ready within like five minutes and I run downstairs and pick it up. Of course, with pants on. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Just depending. Just depending. Okay, perfect. And then, of course, you also see cheetahs. Yes, which is also very entertaining. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> cheetahs is one of the local strip clubs here. So Fallon sees a lot through the window. And at one time, she was actually uh, tapped onto their Wi-Fi. <laughs> so a little bit of <laughs> They do, tidbit. they have free Wi-Fi. <laughs> a little tidbit of information. <laughs> Fallon was using that kind of the earlier time when she first moved down here. <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing my hood now because we're going in the hood or the uh, alley behind Fallon's place. Yeah, I like to call it the hood. Fallon, it's your Jeep. My Jeep. We found it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Whoop. This is where you'll often find Fallon just laying back here randomly. And uh, So the lights aren't on right now but this is the alleyway that they painted specifically for um, WIF. Um, Which is? Windsor International Film Festival. So um, Watch really cool that they did this and you can see the lights uh, when they're on at nighttime. It looks super cool. Yeah, because they're uh, strung across here. This is now yeah. where many people come to get their pictures taken for like engagement photos. Um, just photo shoots in general. And you know this how? Because I live here and I see it. <laughs> because you peek out the windows. Um, it's very cool. I do love this. And I'm glad that no one has come down and ruined it. No, I Spray mean, painting it or anything. Yes. And then this stairway um, is painted in rainbow colors, which is really cool. Um, and then we will, um, We'll go and take a look at fog because all of fog is actually done in art as well. Bye. So this is the Capitol Theater. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater downtown. At one time it used to be a silent movie house. So they played silent movies. It is now currently the home of Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Uh, but uh, um, but I've done many stage performances in here, and I've seen many movies uh, for Windsor International Film Festival, and also I've seen many drag shows in here. So it's really a multi-purpose building, but it's actually um, absolutely just beautiful inside the main theater itself. All right, so this is the outside of Fog, and Fog is uh, a bar downtown. Um, but what's really cool about Fog is that they're very supportive of small um, artists in terms of like uh, bands and musical artists. So um, one of the cool things about this venue is it's a very small venue and very cool to come have a couple of beers and listen to some local artists. But also super cool, as you can see, obviously, as I walk around, that um, it is definitely uh, been painted in a very um, cool way. Um, one of the things that's really cool about downtown Windsor is we have a lot of art um, by denial. So this is one of them. Um, and if you don't know 
who Denial is, uh, check him out. But yeah, so Denial, who um, has been doing art in the city for, for several years, we'll see some more of his stuff, but wanted to make sure um, that you got to see what it looks like here at Fog. And hopefully we will run back into Sean somewhere around the city here as we have now been separated. And there he is. Ta-da! So another really cool thing um, in Windsor is this new trend has kind of come on and it kind of goes with my Canadian tuxedo actually. <laughs> um, we have two very cool, uh, vintage isn't the right word, but it is vintage, I guess. I, I just mean, don't want to admit that it's vintage. Yeah, or it's repurposed. Stuff, cool. Yeah. Um, back in the 90s, let's say. So if you look in here, you can see a lot of this stuff. Um, old Air Jordans and stuff that, you know, was really cool um, has now come back. Right. And is also now really cool. So uh, we have two shops like this, and they're definitely worth checking out um, if you are in the city. Yeah, um, there's this one here. Low end, and, right? And then down the street is the um, I think it's in Bang or something like that oh, that it's called. I don't know that one. But yeah, similar um, similar type of stuff. Okay. Can you see me? I'm behind the tree. I can see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, another really cool shop here in the city, um, Casa Chavella. So this is definitely a Fallon store. Has Fallon written all over it. Um, <sighs> They sell incense and candles and uh, dream catchers and lots of like eclectic cultural items. Um, just a super cool shop with a really cool vibe. Wait. Sean gets angry because of the noise. Because so the cars, they drown out your we're voice. We're in downtown right? of a city. So. <laughs> How dare these people yeah. ruin my Drive video. Drive through the yeah. city during the day. So across the street we have Cafe March 21. Um, great little coffee shop and ramen house actually so um, if you are looking for a nice little stop for coffee and ramen in Windsor this is a place to go I, I don't believe it's open on Sundays I just got to drop right in my eyeball good With <laughs> have you been to March 21 before I have you have and yes. do you like it yes I do really like it I like the coffee um, they also have a spot at the farmer's market where they have these like chicken skewers. Right. Mm. Okay, Fel, where are we right now? So we are in a Windsor staple, Acapulco Delight. Uh, if you like Mexican food and you want to eat something after the bars, this is your go-to place. Have you been here before? I have. Okay. I've been everywhere. You've been everywhere. <laughs> yes, that's very true. If anybody only knew. Perfect. So as I was talking about, and you can't really see everything in here, but um, Denial, who does a lot of the art in the city, has a shop here in town. Um, and so you can buy art. Uh, and I know there's lots of glare because of the way it's set up, but it is 510 Design Factory and Print House. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so another super cool thing about Windsor is we have some really cool buildings. Um, so this is one apartment building here that's super cool on the outside. Then next to this we have the... Um, this Windsor. building here, this used to be the old YMCA. Oh, that's see, what it was. Know, I yeah, know that. it was the original YMCA there. Right, yep. Yeah, super cool. It's the Chelsea now. Yes. So if you're named Chelsea, you should live in the Chelsea. That's right. Um, and then next to it, there is a little entrance there. You can see cute little entrance with a nice little sign at the front. Um, the Windsor Circus School. So if you are interested in learning like any aerial type things, um, which is pretty cool right now, I think that's a good place to start. And then next to that, even more exciting, is what is going to be known as the Hive. Um, and right now, this is potentially a place that I may live in the future. Uh, I have my application in there. Um, if they ever finish it. If they ever finish it. So the long story short is they've been working on this since forever. Um, going to be really cool buildings, or a really cool building with really cool units. Um, and it will have to be for me to leave my space because I do really love my space. 
Um, but yeah, progress, I guess, a little bit. Will you be the queen bee in I the hive? I will be the queen bee in the hive, yes. Perfect. Beyonce. All right, so um, another cool little spot in Windsor is this little kind of alleyway here. Uh, it is known as Maiden Lane. And down Maiden Lane, there's a couple really cool spots. One is Sean, super cool. Uh, also, we have here um, a dog's breakfast. So another good brunch spot, if something that you are looking for. This bar over here that's all kind of blacked out um, and has a really cool patio up front is Maiden Lane Wine and Spirits. Um, pretty cool little place as well if you're coming and looking for a drink. Um, in the corner there is Whiskey Jack Boutique. Um, another really cool little shop that has some locally made items um, and all super cool things um, that you can buy. And if you're like me and you like to buy things, yes. it's definitely worth um, a visit. As you can see, Sean is very excited about it. I like this the Schitt's Creek uh, stickers. We might have to go we in might here. Have to pop in there, yeah. And then we will take you guys on a little tour of um, some more graffiti art. Mm -hmm. And uh, another um, potential brunch place here. I'm not sure if they're up and running momentarily because of the pandemic, but it's Squirrel Cage. And of course, more art down here. Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm co-owner of Whiskey Jack Boutique. We are a small Canadian gift and souvenir shop located in the heart of downtown Windsor. We have been here since May of 2019 and we love our downtown community and our downtown neighborhood very much. Um, I think my favorite part of working here and being part of this store is meeting all the new customers, um, getting to see people face to face. That was something that we missed a lot during the pandemic was just seeing our customers and engaging with them in real life instead of online. So it's been great to see people coming back in the store and to be able to experience the shop again safely. Wow. Yes. So outside here, uh, Dr. Disc. Dr. Disc is one of the music staples of downtown. They have used CDs, used cassettes, used vinyl. They sell new CDs, new vinyl as well. Uh, very popular. Um, I come here often. Fallon, you probably don't. Right? I don't because I buy all my music online. Yeah, you buy it online. Uh, so vinyl's making a comeback, so this is a very popular place to pick up any vinyl that you're looking to add to your collection. So when you're downtown Windsor, check out Dr. Disc. All right, here we go. Okay. Actually, that looks really fucking cool with the clouds in the background. <laughs> so as we promised, uh, we would show you some more art in this city. So this is more of Denial's art. Um, and this actually, this piece here is a classic that you will see of his stuff. Um, but this was, this wall here was recently done, I wanna say last summer. Um, and in addition to this, which you can't see right now, um, there's also one that says Windsor just close by. But we're gonna make our way down the alleyway here and show off some of the other really cool art that's down it. Uh, it's known as Graffiti Alley. So do remember, this is an alleyway. Yes. Um, so, so this is all super cool. And this stretch is all the way from Wyandotte um, down to Park. So it's a pretty good stretch of alley. Um, and not just the walls, but I don't know if you noticed, there's art on even some of the garbage cans out here, which I find rather entertaining. I think Sean just tripped behind me. Wish I would've got that on camera. I was jumping in. So this is the other side of uh, Maiden Lane Wine and Spirits that I mentioned. They've just purchased some of those portable heaters because uh, lots of people still want to enjoy their time outside due to the pandemic. And 
and yeah like i mean this is just super cool right you don't get to see this stuff this side of windsor every day because people don't take you down alleys but sean and i do This is Mike's favorite part because he loves the He-Man and Skeletor. Orca. Who? Orca. Oh, these are things I don't know. And, and Castle Grayskull. But yes, still super cool. And this is pretty much the end of it. It's pretty dark and dingy down here, but again, still super cool. Hope you enjoyed that little tour of our graffiti alley. One of the parts of Windsor that uh, I bet you people don't know a whole lot about. Yes, yeah, so I guess I should learn a little bit more about how this all originated. Yeah. Um, but what I will tell you is, as an art lover myself, um, this is one of the places that I love to be able to come to and enjoy a different type of art, right? Because um, as you may or may not have seen in previous episodes, I have lots of tattoos. Yeah. Um, and therefore, graffiti art for me is definitely something that uh, I find, you know, very appealing. Uh, and I just think it's really badass. Like, it's super cool that in... A place like Windsor, we have this to go to. I, I feel like when I see it, it reminds me of like being in New York City right. or like, you know, downtown Detroit. And uh, to to that point, there is a lot of Denial's art um, in downtown Detroit or Eastern Market area. Um, and there was actually a very large lawsuit that occurred because of that with Mercedes Benz. Um, so yeah, if you don't know about this stuff, um, it's something cool to learn about Windsor. And like I said, who would think that you could go walking down a dark alley and find something so cool? You should um, take a picture of Blanche over here. <laughs> Blanche? Yeah, Blanche. Oh yeah, I saw that <laughs> on there. Fallon, how come you like walking through the alleys? Well, because I'm a street walker. A street walker, yes. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. A lady of the night. A lady of the night, yes. You can often find Fallon walking through these alleys late at night. No, not at all. I am in bed by 10. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I feel like we look very colorful. We do. Okay, I want to try to take a picture here.